Austrasia formed the northeastern section of the Merovingian Kingdom of the Franks during the 6th to 8th centuries. Austrasia, which was centered on the Middle Rhine and the Moselle, was the original territory of the Frankish tribes prior to their unification under Clovis I. In AD 567, it became a separate kingdom within the Frankish Empire and was ruled by Sigurd I. It eventually lost its territorial character in the Carolingian Empire in the 8th century. Name the name Austrasia is not well attested in the Merovingian period. It is a Latinization of an old Frankish name recorded first by Gregory of Tours in c. AD 580 and then by Amoin of Florian c. AD 1000. As with the name Austria, it contains the word for east, i.e., meaning eastern land, to designate the original territory of the Franks in contrast to Neustria. The New Western Land in northern Gaul conquered in the wake of the Battle of Soissons of 486. Geography The area of Austrasia was centered on the Middle Rhine and included the basins the Moselle, Main and Meuse rivers. It bordered on Frisia and Saxony to the north, Thuringia to the east, Swabia and Burgundy to the south into Neustria and Flanders to the west. Metz served as the Austrasian capital, although some Austrasian kings ruled from Reims, Freer, and Cologne. Other important cities included Verdun, Worms and Spire. Fulda Monastery was founded in eastern Austrasia in the final decade of the Merovingian period. In the High Middle Ages, its territory became divided among the duchies of Lotharingia and Franconia and Germany with its some western portions including Reims and Rethel passing to France. Its exact boundaries were somewhat fluid over the history of the Frankish sub-kingdoms, but Austrasia can be taken to correspond roughly to the territory of present-day Luxembourg, parts of eastern Belgium, northeastern France, west central Germany and the southern Netherlands. History after the death of the Frankish king Clovis I in 511, his four sons partitioned his kingdom amongst themselves, with Theuderic I receiving the lands that were to become Austrasia. Descended from Theuderic, a line of kings ruled Austrasia until 555, when it was united with the other Frankish kingdoms of Clotha I, who inherited all the Frankish realms by 558. He redivided the Frankish territory amongst his four sons, but the four kingdoms coalesced into three on the death of Chari Bear, the first in 567, Austrasia under Sigurd I, Neustria under Chilpric I, and Burgundy under Guntram. These three kingdoms defined the political division of Francia until the rise of the Carolingians and even thereafter. From 567 to the death of Sigbert II in 613, Neustria and Austrasia fought each other almost constantly, with Burgundy playing the peacemaker between them. These struggles reached their climax in the wars between Brunhilde and Fredegund, queens respectively of Austrasia and Neustria. Finally, in 613, a rebellion by the nobility against Brunhilde saw her betrayed and handed over to her nephew and foe in Neustria, Clotha II. Cloatha then took control of the other two kingdoms and set up a united Frankish kingdom with its capital in Paris. During this period the first major estomus or mayors of the palace appeared. These officials acted as mediators between king and people in each realm. The first Austrasian mayors came from the Pippinud family, which experienced a slow but steady ascent until it eventually displaced the Merovingians on the throne. In 623, the Austrasians asked Clotha II for a king of their own and he appointed his son Dagobert I to rule over them with Pepin of Landen as regent. Dagobert's government in Austrasia was widely admired. In 629, he inherited Neustria and Burgundy. Austrasia was again neglected until, in 633, the people demanded the king's son as their own king again. Dagobert complied and sent his elder son Sigobert III to Austrasia. Historians often categorize Sigobert as the first Warthane Aunt or do nothing king of the Merovingian dynasty. His court was dominated by the mares. 
In 657, the mayor Grimwald the Elder succeeded in putting his son Childebert the Adopted on the throne, where he remained until 662. Thereafter, Austrasia was predominantly the kingdom of the Arnulfing mayors of the palace and their base of power, with the Battle of Tertri in 687. Pepin of Harisal defeated the Neustrian king Theodric III and established his mayoralty over all the Frankish kingdoms. This was even regarded by contemporaries as the beginning of his reign. It also signalled the dominance of Austrasia over Neustria, which would last until the end of the Merovingian era. In 718, Karl Martel, with Austrasian support in his war against Neustria, each territory struggling to unite Francia under their hegemony, appointed Clotho IV to rule in Austrasia. This was the last Frankish ruler who did not rule over all the Franks. In 719, Francia was united permanently under Austrasian hegemony. Under the Carolingians and subsequently, Austrasia is sometimes used as a denominator for the east of their realm, the Carolingian Empire. It has been used as a synonym for East Francia, though this is somewhat inaccurate. Rulers